Now we are going to focus on the digestive system of the starfish. Here we have, again, remember the aboral side. That would be the anus of the starfish, and this would be aboral. We are going to turn this starfish on its side and take a look at the area of the central disc and get an idea for what the digestive system looks like. The starfish is going to have a mouth, and this is a triploblastic organism with a complete digestive system, so as we've already mentioned, you will have the anus. What is really interesting about the digestive system of these starfish is that there are two separate stomachs. The first one we're going to encounter is a thin membranous stomach that is called the cardiac stomach. We will come back to what each of these does in just a minute. Beyond the cardiac stomach, we have what is called the pyloric stomach. And this will then lead to the intestines, which terminate, of course, at the anus. What is really interesting about this is when we look at these two different stomachs, they actually serve slightly different purposes. One of the primary things that a starfish feeds on are bivalves. What a starfish does is it uses the tube feet to grab the bivalve, the two halves of the shelves, and pry them open just a little bit. Into that crack, the starfish actually everts or turns its cardiac stomach wrong side outwards. The cardiac stomach is going to release digestive enzymes. This begins to break down the bivalve. Digested material or partially digested material is then pulled back in through the mouth and into the pyloric stomach where digestion is complete. It will then pass through the intestines and any waste will pass out the anus. Something very important to keep in mind with the starfish, the cardiac stomach that can be everted or turned wrong side outwards begins digestion outside of the starfish's body. Partial digested food is then pulled in. It is digestion continues in the pyloric stomach and then you'll have food enter the intestines and eventually exit out the anus as waste. It's an unusual feeding system. It actually uses its two feet to man manipulate the bivalve into position and, like I said before, to pry it open for feeding.